You're making one right decision today. You're listening to Handcuffs and Sage. Three badass moms bringing you all the true crime and paranormal your heart desires. I'm Red. I'm Timo. I'm Dre. And don't let your kids listen. Seriously, just don't. Hey, it's Handcuffs and Sage. Hey. Hey. This is Red. Hey, this is Timo. Hey, this is Dre. What's up? And we are all in sync. Cool. Cool beans. Cool bean. Cool (laughs) bean. You have a real cool bean. Do you see who's behind you over there, Red? I got the best, best cool bean. He's staring at me. (laughs) Yes, yes, why he is. I have a life-size Mr. Bean cardboard cutout. Thanks to my (laughs) wonderful brother who wanted to scare the shit out of me and you all know I'm a chicken shit so it worked out wonderfully <laughs> oh my um, God. <laughs> I, went, I went horseback riding with um my eight-year-old on whatever day Monday I had the day off Monday and so they came by with some cake to celebrate her um just my mom and my, my younger brother and he, there's always been this thing in my family that I had said when I was super super young that I was going to marry Mr. Bean he was going to be my husband. <laughs> oh my God. It's just been a thing and it's cool and whatever. I own that shit. Okay. I said, I didn't care. I was going to marry somebody who made me laugh and I didn't care what they looked like. Hence the Mr. Bean. So he just life size Mr. Bean and put it in my pantry. And then I get home and my husband's like, babe, I haven't eaten. Can you grab me one of those, you know, smart. Oh no. <laughs> because there's this six foot man in there oh my oh, god it was no. the best it was the best <laughs> so he has been making his way around every room in the house um aurora is deathly afraid of him she's freaked out she thinks mm-hmm. he's a halloween decoration because she hasn't seen any of the movies she will be watching this weekend okay Yay. yeah yeah so i love mr bean he's oh, gonna hang yes. out with me so oh, when when it. Dre first pops on, she's, she's vertical. So she's not like, so I see her sideways and I'm like, I'm all turning my head. I'm like, what is that? And from far from the way it was, it looks like Bella Lugosi as Dracula. But then I saw the tie and I'm like, no, that's not him. I'm like, oh my God, is that Bean? Is that the Bean guy? (laughs) I don't even, I've never seen any of those shows. So I don't know anything about, I just, I just know he's Mr. Bean. That's all I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love him. He's just a goofball. He just is so goofy and doesn't even care. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> the best. So this is our down the rabbit hole episode. And these come out every other week where we talk about a conspiracy theory. And this week we're talking about men in black. Oh, yeah. The real dudes. Yes, they really do exist. Well, at least in my opinion, and I think you guys do, right? It's That's why well, it's, a, con- we'll it's why a conspiracy theory, because some people believe and some people don't believe. But, you know, we're going to make we're going to change your mind because, I mean, I know you guys. I know I did a bunch of research and I know you guys probably did, too. And, dude, it's bananas. So I'm excited. I'm excited to talk about it. This is a fun one because I feel like there's some stuff to back up that it's real. Right. I know. So that's what I dig, man. Ooh, I know. I, okay. I know. So crazy. So this has been going on for a while where there's these weird encounters with men in black. Uh, they're said to always wear black suits, hence men in black. They have mm-hmm. a very serious demeanor. They, when they talk, it's very cold right and they they seem to always come around when someone has seen a ufo or is doing research on ufos or i should say ufos right? ufo <laughs> ufos <laughs> oh jeez and you, usually when they show up they'll provide like a white card and they'll say something very basic on it like security Uh and what's interesting is on a business card usually see a name but instead of a name it's a number so they go by number seven or (laughs) number 13 which is fantastic (laughs) 
which is so yes. fantastic. I definitely want to be a number now on every business card. And people be like, seven? I'll be like, yes. I'm number <laughs> nine then. Because nine number is my nine. number. Yeah. yeah. And there, you know, there's such a wide range of what these dudes look like too. They can look just like a total normal dude in a black suit, black hat, you know, black sunglasses to like crazy bald everywhere from the neck up and pale as fuck and like <laughs> monotone like they talk in a monotone like da, 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 da. and then uh it's just it's ah, it's like so creepy it's creepy, so creepy when creepy. i heard that they were pasty white i <laughs> thought well maybe i'm just related to them I, in some way oh, i'm sorry red yes. but every time no. i read that i thought about you too <laughs> see <laughs> I knew you were going to say something. I'm like, oh gosh, they're pale. You're thing. like, <laughs> you're the furthest thing from alopecia that there ever was. You have so yeah. much hair on your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. There we have it. I'm not a man in black. Yeah. You have a little <laughs> pinkish glow. So you're okay. These guys are, they look like they're dead. Like it's like, yeah. Bleh. Yeah. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it said that they usually look the same. So if you see two together, they look identical. Mm -hmm. And like uh, Timo was saying, bald, no eyebrows, no eyelashes, pasty, tight yes. skin, mm -hmm. almost you know, like it's not theirs. <laughs> you know, it's crazy too. Yeah, yeah. right. It's exactly. The, the the red, ruby red lips that oh, are like yeah. on and not actually a part of, like they have no lips. Yes. Yeah, I love shit. the ruby red lips. Yeah, like they're like, wait, wait, let's make them look real human. <laughs> <laughs> they have lipstick. Got some lipstick on there. Yeah, I know, it's so yeah. crazy. Um, lipstick on there. So I'm sure you guys looked into all these like crazy stories that yeah. came up with Men in Black. And if you want, um, I can start off. Yeah, with, let's with go down the timeline from like the beginning and and on, and then me and Drake can just like pop in and like put our two yeah. cents in or whatever keep it hot keep it hot <laughs> so buckle up we're gonna go down the rabbit hole here and we're gonna start with harold Dahl, and this takes place in june 1947 so this started a long time ago you guys this yeah. was in puget sound uh harold was on a boat and he says that he saw six donut shaped objects in the sky um he might have just been really hungry <laughs> because when I get really hungry, everything looks like food. Um, but then one of these donut shaped objects started actually like falling apart mm -hmm. above him and the pieces fell down into the water and it actually killed his dog and injured his son. So this wasn't uh, uh, far away from him. It affected him. Right. So it's really it, sad. It's such a popular story that so many either they were, it was like molten metal or then chunks of metal. So I couldn't really, you know, determine what exactly it was, but if it was friggin' molten metal flying down from the sky, that poor dog, why did the dog have to die? Let me tell you when I, I saw, uh, <laughs> and the dog died, I had to like read that over <laughs> again. Cause like, no. Oh, that made me no. so sad. His son was injured, but his son survived. Yeah. So mm -hmm. he actually took photos of the debris, which I love mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. even something that drives me nuts in this day and age is, you know, anything that comes out, why did you take a picture? Everyone has a camera on your phone, right? Yeah. Whip yeah. it out, take some pictures, take some video. Yeah. So he took, took photos at that time of this debris now he says that a man in black came to him and told him not to talk about this incident mm -hmm. right it was very mm -hmm. threatening to him and so in a lot of these stories that we're going to hear that kind of tone happens over and over and over again they threaten people to keep quiet about what they've seen or what they're looking into um so because we're talking about this today i'm sure we'll all get knocks on our doors tomorrow dude i'm Ooh. gonna freak the fuck out i i can't what? no mm -mm. oh no that's so scary yeah to think my dogs know? will just terrify them and they'll run away from my okay. dog frank <laughs> if that happens to me i'm going on instagram live and you guys can see it <laughs> 
I swear to God, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need you guys with me because I'm gonna be like, check it out. Look who's at my door. Oh my god. No. I'll be like, girl, those are men in black, those are Mormons. Oh my, oh my god. god, you confused. <laughs> and then you'll feel so silly. Okay, so but then- wouldn't it be funny though if somebody actually knocked on the door and we assumed it was men in black and it was like Mormons or somebody? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm hoping for this to happen. One hundred. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you completed your census? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> really red lips. I see them. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. So we're gonna move on to Robert Richardson. This happened in 1967 in Toledo, Ohio. Ooh, this, this is, is a not, good one. so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's driving at night. He's driving his car, going pretty fast, and he says that he crashes into a ufo that the ufo was on the road he runs into it he says that the object freaking disappears he gets out of the car the ufo is gone but there are pieces from the crash on the ground so he knows it happens right right Um, right so he takes these uh pieces of metal home and he wants to look into what this is he wants to investigate on his own a little bit right when i first heard this story in the beginning i just thought maybe he was drunk driving and he like hit a tree you know and he <laughs> right like, right uh-huh. pieces from his own car i thought that would be <laughs> kind of funny but he goes home he has these pieces of metal um the men in black show up knock 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 right he opens the door and he says that they're threatening him uh, for these pieces of metal he says sorry not here i i sent them out for testing and the they best. said if you want your wife <laughs> to stay as pretty as she is then you better go get that metal back mm-hmm. <laughs> the fuck? goosebumps if someone says that to you at the door like ooh, what did, what do you say yeah you know what i mean what like, do you say yeah like, how do you know what my wife looks like? You know, like that's mm-hmm. just, there's just a thousand questions of like, what? Like, yeah. what? Like pretty two is. adult hideous twins wearing the same outfit <laughs> are talking to me about how pretty my wife is and threatening for these pieces of metal. That would freak me out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That would freak me out. So the next story happens actually in 1968. So this is a year later. And it happens with Jack Robinson in New Jersey. And he's actually a UFO researcher. So he's doing a deep dive into UFO um, science. He's very interested in this. And his wife, Mary, and him say that they are being like terrorized by men in black. Uh That they are constantly watching them. And it's just creeper city with these guys, right? They'll yeah, look out you know, the window and they're yeah like, yeah so they live like in a like a multi-level apartment building and when she looks out she sees this dude like hiding in a doorway like just fucking staring up at her and they come home and their house has been rummaged through like multiple yes. different times like what that in itself is unsettling right yeah. if you come home and your things have been gone through that's upsetting that's yeah. a violation yeah if mm-hmm. you've had people following you and they're wearing the same outfit again. <laughs> That's creepy. This is a lot. That would freak me out. So they had a friend, uh, Timothy Green Beckley, look in on this situation with them. Like, look, we're having this issue. Can you come and, and help us out? So he starts looking into it, checking out the situation. And he actually gets a picture of a man in black and I love it I love it I was watching a BuzzFeed Unsolved because they (laughs) they covered this oh god those guys I loved it because it's a black and white photo and one of the guys is like how do you know it's a black suit it could be a dark navy we can't (laughs) we don't know (laughs) right and you know what's strange in that picture is I'm gonna put that on on the on our TikTok TikTok video uh, it kind of just looks like you're like everyday random dude that happens to be wearing like a jacket and a fedora, but 
uh, I, you don't know. You don't know. It could be one of those I'll take weirdo it. guys. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll take it. Right. <laughs> I'll take it. I think if you look at this photo, um, real hard, his, his face features are off. Okay. They're odd. Mm -hmm. I'll right? look again. It, I'll look again. Right. Just a little off. Um, so then I want to talk about Dr. Herbert Hopkins. This happened September 11th, 1976, um, in Maine. Um, he was, yeah, he was studying a UFO incident. I really want to say UFO every time. I know. That's a problem, I, every time I wrote it down, I wrote UFO in my head. UFO! <laughs> UFO. <laughs> so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, uh, go to the Skinwalker Ranch episodes and our little investigator, dude, Travis, that's how he says UFO. He says UFO and he's uh -huh. from Alabama. So he has that like Southern accent. So we're like, all right, from here on out, we got to stay UFO, UFO from now on. Yeah. It, it's and then they have it deep inside my brain. There's ufologists too. So it's like, yeah, it's a word. Ufo. Uh -huh. Yes. Ufo. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm struggling with it. So uh. he is studying a UFO incident and a phone call um, comes through and the man is saying that he's from a, a UFO organization. Uh, are you alone? Right? Because <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I would really like to talk to you about what you're looking into, right? Uh, the guy's like, yeah, great. Come over. Let's talk about what I, I'm looking into. No problem. He gets off the phone. Click. All of a sudden, ding dong. He's at the door. What? Mm -hmm. Homie, what? Yeah. It, that is creepy as fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's off, right? Uh, 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 That's no, off. no, no, no. Yeah. This isn't 1976. No, there's no cell phones. <laughs> no, you're not. No. Yeah. No. All of it is No. Uh -huh, nope. uh -huh. that that would freak me out so ding dong he's at the door holy shit he's wearing a black suit oh my god he's bald no eyebrows no eyelashes he has dull skin ruby red lips and he talks like a freaking robot oh my mm -hmm. god. <laughs> i would piss my pants, my knees would collapse. Right. I would be done. Yeah. And he I'm invites done. him in. What? Yeah, yeah. No. Are you, isn't it, are you crazy? Isn't what? it funny though that he has to be invited in like a vampire? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Can Maybe I, they're can just. I... And then <laughs> his dog started freaking the fuck out when this dude walked mm -hmm. in his house and he's like, yeah, just come on in. I'm going to keep on talking to you. Like, mm -hmm. no, 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 Always no, no. trust dogs. It's I know, trust like dogs. Yes. Just go with that. So, except your dogs, your dogs don't like anybody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is correct. Well, you know what? I would agree with that then. I would agree with it. So this weird ass guy pulls out a coin. Okay. He pulls out a coin and he says to him, watch the coin. He says that it starts to develop a silver color instead of a copper and then a bluish tone. And then the penny was getting like fuzzy, right? It was out of focus, blurred, and then it was gone. And it had like slowly dematerialized in front of him. Right. Mm. Okay. What the actual fuck? Like right? that's something that happens like when you're on acid, <laughs> not just when you open the door and someone's like, hey, what's up? Check out the coin. Don't look away. <laughs> so right? Weird. It's so, so crazy. After the guy pulls this creepy shit with the coin, he tells him or he orders him to destroy his UFO research, right? Get rid of all of it. Stop what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And and I have to say, like, this is a really scary situation in all these stories. I I would stop doing whatever the fuck I was doing. I don't want any heat on me. I don't need any trouble or drama. You know what I mean? But then it's like, why is this happening? Why don't want they want us to look in or have this information, right? So it's just Pandora's box. I have actually another one. And then I have a Give video it. that I want to talk Do to you guys it. about. Okay. So mm. Paul Miller, did you guys hear about Paul Miller? No. He was on a, he was on a hunting trip with some buddies. 
and they saw this weird like glowing disc in the sky and it was like hovering over an empty field and then two humanoid looking creatures got out of the vehicle and he flipped the fuck out so he started shooting well they were hunting trips so he started shooting at these humanoids right and he thought that he had injured one because it acted kind of funny but they said fuck let's get out of here so they got in their car they were like driving down the road there's like fuck this we're getting out of here and then where when they got home or where they got you know close to home they realized that they had lost three hours of time oh my god so wow. they couldn't recall how from when they left that field to where they were at, like three hours had passed. So that was the number one crazy, crazy thing. Is that and, weird? Is that not supposed to happen to someone maybe like every single day constantly? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, shit, you guys. <laughs> no, I'm no. definitely not talking about myself for oh my a friend. <laughs> So get this, you guys. He shrugged it off. He's like, Meh. whatever. So he worked at the Air Force. Go figure, right? So he went to work. He just went back to work. And he was confronted by three men in the parking lot, men in black suits. And they said, we have your file. They're all, we know everything about it. Forget about what happened. And he said, they seem to know everything about me, where I worked, what my name was everything they asked questions about his experience and if they had already knew what he was going to answer so basically he kept quiet because he was scared shitless and then he came forward many many years later and told his story I think this is really interesting too because in a lot of these cases these stories people will say that they feel like they already know the answer that they're almost already in their heads and yes. know their thoughts which yes. is a very odd thing to say that right. someone is already in your mind, right? That doesn't mm-hmm. happen every day where you feel like someone's in your mind knowing your thoughts when you're interacting with them. So that's interesting that you kind of hear that across several of the, the stories. And that's very typical with, um, you know, alien abductions, right. alien sightings, the loss of time. For sure. That happens a lot. Um, it happens sometimes when you're cleaning the garage, but <laughs> it, it mostly happens with anything dealing with aliens, UFOs, things sure, of that yeah. nature. Oh, yeah. And I always want to know what is that, right? What is that? Is, what is it that somebody is standing there and time passes? I want to know if they're standing there for that time. Or if they are taken somewhere for that time, they are returned and there is no memory of it. That's what I'd like to know. I think so. Right. Yeah. Or you see something that scares you so much that your brain shuts off so that you can forget about it. Because they say that, you know, like your brain yes. will make you forget some traumatic yes. experience mm-hmm. and you That's just correct. won't remember it. So it's something, something, who knows? Yikes. Right. So there is, I mean, there's, going back a long time when uh the couple Betty and what's what's his name Barney oh it's such a yes and Betty and Barney Mm -hmm. right Right. Mm -hmm. and when they're driving there's a loss of time there but they're they're driving a car right Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what happens in that that's what I'd like to know I'd like the information on moments like that where someone's (laughs) driving and they lose time yeah. Or, mm-hmm. right, we'll hear um, stories about, you know, driving through the, the Bermuda Triangle and losing time, mm-hmm. right? Is that a, a wormhole situation, a black hole situation? Right. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh-huh. How does this all work? I, I really do feel like, uh, you know, once we die, we'll have all the answers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we will. Uh, we have to. Because... That makes me feel much better about all these questions. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know it all. That at some point, <laughs> we'll know. Uh, I want to tell you guys uh, about this video I saw on YouTube. You guys can go see it. Um, I actually saw it on express.co.uk. So this was basically in the United Kingdom. 
And it's basically strange footage of um, a security guard. Uh, he was hired to work in this building and he was like watching this thing happen. And he's like, this is bizarre. And he took it to the necessary people. And now it's like this famous like encounter with a, with a man in black. So it, it's, uh, there's a white haired man and he has his back turned as he's sitting at a desk. And you can see there's a man in black that's bald. He has very white, like you can barely see his features and he's standing facing the camera and they're having some type of conversation. And you can tell that uh, now there's a friend that's kind of narrating this. And so the, the old man, his name is Liam and, and this is a friend of his that's kind of like narrating what's going on. And Liam is like kind of holding his arms up and he's like waving them about. You can tell that he's kind of being agitated by whatever this man in black is telling him. Even at one point he, he goes with his left hand and there's a pair of scissors on his desk and he kind of like grabs the scissors. Like he's gonna need a weapon to protect himself. So he kind of puts his hands on the scissors and as he's doing that, the man in black is kind of like rocking back and forth, but like walking backwards at the same time. And then he get, comes back towards him and he pulls something out of his pant pocket. And you can't really see what, what it is, but then he holds his hands like, like this, like in okay, front of so the guy. Okay, so it looks like a flashlight or something. Yeah, have you seen, are you watching like it? It looks like a flashlight. Yeah. Okay. It looks, it looks like there's a light coming from whatever he pulls out of his okay. pocket. So he, he pulls yeah. this triangle thing like with his fingers and okay. all of a sudden his, uh, Liam's demeanor changes. He's stiff and he's just kind of sitting there. The guy's talking to him and he's like, you see he's telling him to do something and he's doing exactly what this man is telling him to do so he slowly gets up from his chair oh my god he this walks, is giving me the creep it's creepy he walks around his desk and then he has his little like backpack nap sack whatever on the floor and he squats down he's getting into the bag he pulls something out he hands it to the man in black the man in black puts it in his coat pocket and then all of a sudden Liam turns around and just walks out and leaves. What? And he has never been seen since that day. <gasps> he hasn't been oh my God, since? that's a chills. Yeah. So the what? guy actually, the men in black actually comes back a few hours later and he's rummaging through the guy's office. Okay. So he's looking, he can't find anything. So you can tell he's getting agitated. What? You don't see this part on the video, but this is part of the story that they're narrating. So he basically grabs the knapsack and leaves. So what was happening is Liam had gone on vacation and he started posting all this stuff on, on social media. He, he said that he was at some type of weird UFO crash site. And he kept on posting pictures of this strange object. That he said he found at this crap, you know, this crash site. Oh and he just my God. Kept on posting pictures and pokes, posting pictures. And whatever that was that he gave to that guy, that was what he was posting pictures of. He, uh, yeah, so the guy's like, you know, I, he's, he's dropped off the face of the earth. He's, I, I can't call him. He's not even on social media anymore. He's, there's nothing to be found. So he's like been totally erased from the world after this happened. But, and you can see this, you can see all of this happening on this video because uh, I saw the video and I'm like, oh my God, I have to write out like step-by-step step how, how it happened. So you guys oh, know yeah. what happened, but it's so fucking bananas. Like it's so I want to know, I want to know what this object is, of course. Yeah, and I um, don't know. Was yeah. a, a missing persons uh, report filed? Are they looking for Liam? And if everything's been wiped of Liam's life, right? Like he just fell off the, the face of the planet. Why didn't they, you know, erase this tape? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Maybe it's part of the investigation or whatever, but they can't even go and look back and see what the object was because it's gone. It, they, it totally, it's like, unless someone took a screenshot of it somewhere, you know what I mean? It's like gone. So is it uh, like Marcellus Wallace's soul? 
in yeah. that picture? <laughs> you know, you know, though, like if you post something on the internet, people can try their hardest to make it disappear for good, but it's somewhere in there. You know, once, yeah. once yeah. it's on the internet, it's always on the internet. So it don't could be I know there. I have some videos out there that have made life <laughs> real hard. Okay. <laughs> Unless um, there was some type of like alien interaction that was able to destroy it all, you know, and the weird thing is, this has happened on January 3rd at 3.33 p.m. in the afternoon. I don't know what year, oh. but yeah. Let me, let me ask this. The object that you guys are saying that he pulled out and it almost looked like a flashlight, right, Dre? Right? Like he yeah. pulled uh -huh. out. So whatever he did with this thing made Liam compliant, compl right. right? It like put right. him in a trance or something, right? Mm -hmm. that, right? And then he did like this, this triangle yeah. kind of like weird... the fingers together. He put that down on the yeah. desk and then okay. Liam just like, all right, cool, I'm listening. So uh -huh. whatever, it was so weird. So maybe we could try with our own kids <laughs> if we flash them in the <laughs> eyes real quick and make this hand gesture, you know, who knows? Who knows oh, what could I'm happen? Gonna, yeah, I'm going to try it. Yeah, <laughs> I am going to try it too and just see the look on <laughs> my son's face. See what he says. Well, <laughs> you know, I would be curious to see what, like he, they, they came to him because he was posting on social media. So what did he post on social media? I want to see it. He probably posted that object. Yeah, that's what his friend said. He said that he kept on posting pictures of this strange object that he found in a forest where the, the uh, crash site was. So did, did he explain what this object in these mm -hmm. pictures looked like? Uh, you know, if I did a deeper dive and maybe saw more than one of that, you know, video of on other sites, maybe I only saw it on one site of where his friends kind of narrating so what's going on. So we don't know what this object no. looks like. And then on the video, you can't see what it looks like. You can't like. see it because it's in black and white. It's kind of like grainy a little bit. And of course he has his back to us the whole time. So when he bends down, you mm -hmm. can see his right side, but then he turns facing the man in black, hands it to him. And then Dude, he turns around like a friggin' robot and just is like staring straight ahead and just just walks and disappears out of um, sight. And he has That's no amazing. shoes on, nothing. He just like walks away and he was never heard from again. Like what happened? Like, where did he go? What? Now, is this a case of someone losing time? Whatever this person, man in black did, right? Would this be a state of losing time for yeah, people? Maybe. Whatever he did, right? Yeah, because- yeah. You know, just in these silly movies, they have the, the thing that oh, they yeah. pull out, right, right. to uh -huh. erase people's memories. But what if this is kind of connected to that, right? They have some kind of instrument that they use for people to lose time, lose memory, be compliant, right? Mm -hmm. I could get behind that. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Or I would like or... mine myself, but whatever. <laughs> is this... Is this a case of like, let me try to recreate this like thing to make it seem like it's real? Because I didn't hear a last name for Liam. Mm -mm. It, you know, there was no year. There was like, yeah, maybe it's him and a friend acting this thing out. And they're like, cool, right. men in black, let's recreate that. <laughs> you know, well, right. Anything. I mean, it's, be it's not an episode on yeah. uh, Unsolved Mystery mm -hmm. season two. It's oh, not God. on there. So it's not real. Okay. <laughs> you know, the thing is, there's so many, so many encounters like this, right? And there's no evidence. And that's what you have to question. I mean, mm -hmm. other than the, this video, right? I mean, there's a lot of other photos and stuff to go by, but, but like these accounts that people talk about, it's like, how do you even get this information? How do you know that man had a heart attack on the spot where the man was standing? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where do you get that information? So interesting. Well, I like to think about the stories that have something to do maybe with a scientist, someone with mm -hmm. who lives their life based on facts and experiments, right? And doing things over and over again. You know, somebody who, who looks into things like this and their accounts on, on being terrorized by mm -hmm. men in black, mm -hmm. why would they, you know, want to make up a story and right. have their wife be upset, they're upset, right? I, I think mm -hmm. about stuff like that. Yeah. You know, people who, you know, aren't looking for media attention or anything. 
Right. Or who don't. And they tell you, they tell you to destroy all your evidence. Maybe they're afraid of I mean, the story's getting out, so they're being, you know, they have balls and they're telling the story, but there's no evidence. So that maybe that's just the whole part of being afraid and being terrified by these people and you got rid of everything, but you have to tell somebody. So you finally tell somebody. Uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And these, a lot of these stories t- take place back, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, right? Long, long time right. ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is not a new thing. This is not a new trend at all. Right. No. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we're in a day and age where you, it seems like anything is possible. I'm shocked daily the things that can happen mm-hmm. and people do and things going on in our world. And with footage that's come out, what was that? April or, or May, right? Of the UFO. Yeah, the little tic tac in uh, mm-hmm. yes, the tic tac. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know stuff like this where they're finally opening up about being honest that they, they're yeah. able to capture and this is real, right? I, I, you guys know, I, I completely believe in aliens. I think maybe the Men in Black for a long time were in charge of trying to keep this on the down low as much as possible. Right. Are they human? Are they aliens? Based on what people say that they look like their mannerisms right i would say that they're aliens wearing um yeah really that's weird tight tight ass skin probably <laughs> related to me because they're pale as fuck that's upsetting <laughs> that my family was hurt by this but um i i like to have just fun you never know you never ever know what's real or not so oh we might I'm, find I'm gonna, out tomorrow yeah yeah, yeah, when, when we get that knock on door. the door. <laughs> <laughs> you guys take pictures and video. Okay? I am. I and will. If they yeah. tell us to destroy the podcast episode, you refuse, girl. You fight for your <laughs> mm-hmm. life. You have to say, I'm yeah. not done editing. Nope. I'm, I'm like, sorry. <laughs> it's our, it's already been released. We're on like 20 <laughs> platforms. Sorry. <laughs> and people just love it. They just love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what do you think, Timo? Oh, I think, I don't think they're aliens. I think they're just part of the government that was sent out to uh, hush people up because they wanted to keep such a tight knit on it back in the day. Uh, Maybe that's what they thought at the time would be scary and intimidating to people. Like, Mm-hmm. You, know, you know about this and this is what you're going to encounter if you if you you know keep on going forward so I, I don't know um it seems to work yeah it, mm-hmm. it, it did right it, it worked yeah it totally worked uh, I don't think they're aliens I, I think aliens okay. would, wouldn't even care to do something like that I'm like yeah whatever well someday we'll find <laughs> out yeah, I guess so. you know, yep, how yep. much they cared or not <laughs> yep for sure all right Dre what do you think I'm, I'm in the same boat. I think that the government does a lot to hide things from people. What? Um, no. <laughs> no. I'm uh, shocked. Yeah, what? You guys what? know, you know, my story about my cousin and where she worked and, and how like scary those encounters were for her. Um, I still fully believe that the government is in part um, responsible for her dying. So She was a security guard for a a super secret government agency and she died from lung cancer very quickly. Oh, yeah. And she saw a lot of things. And before she passed, she imparted some of that onto me. So maybe the men in black will come visit me. Hush, don't talk about it. Mm. It's too late. You guys, I talked about it already. It's talking (laughs) about it. I know I talked about this already. I I have already. Yeah, yes. I've already told mm-hmm. these stories. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Why am yeah. I not mm-hmm. recalling that? So she was a security guard and they were doing experiments in this super secret government you know, facility. And one of their experiments got out and created um, massive holes in like 10 inch rock solid metal. What? Shit. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that that's what it was that they were working on. Yeah, I, I think that's. That. I 
I think that's Dre, what it was. I, Dre, you, you have not told us the story. I think you think you told us, and no, then we were no, all mind warped. No, when? no, no, Timo, she did. She did. I did. She okay. did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going to have yeah, to tell me did. again mm-hmm. from the beginning, Dre. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> Timo's in her own world. She's just oh my losing God. time. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, I know. Oh. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. But yep. I, think that's, I think that's what it is. They go okay. through, they'll do whatever they need to to, yes. to mm-hmm. keep yes, stuff from us. Course. But it's coming out, guys. The, the truth is coming out. So, and maybe yes. that's why we're not having that many reports these days of people seeing men in black because it's little by little the stories are coming out now and they're probably a little bit more lenient on what they're going to well, let us know. They probably got fired. Yeah. The men in black <laughs> were brought into the manager's office and they're like, we gave you a chance to shut them up. You're fired. Yeah. Yep. You're fired. Yep. I, I still do think though, honestly, that a lot of these sightings of the men in black are all made up like by people who are just like, Ooh, well, I'm just going to take that and take it to the next level. And I'm going to do this. And you know what I mean? Like, like oh my God. maybe a handful of them are real, but I think a lot of people are just like, Hmm, let me, let me just doctor this one up real quick. You know, how about this? Even if one is real, it, even right? if one is true, that's mm-hmm. enough truth, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Deep thoughts with red. <laughs> and Dre's really going over to the dark side. Well, wait, now you're now you're you're going full skeptic on us. What's going on here, Dre? I don't know. You know, <laughs> I I have to. I like to question everything. She's a flip flopper. <laughs> <laughs> she is the scientist in the group, so we gotta yeah, give her that. Mm-hmm. That's true. I'm the dreamer. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think this was a, a, a fun one and I really enjoyed doing it. It was a, it was a good giddy. I liked yeah. it. It was fun um, doing research. Like it, it you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was, I just wanted to learn more and I couldn't find anything more. So it was quite enjoyable. Yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, everyone needs to check out our Instagram, our Facebook page, our TikTok, our YouTube videos, our website, right? Hit us up message us share any uh paranormal true crime conspiracy theories with us that's lots and lots of fun ufo UFO stories yeah we dig it we're into it you can always email us at handcuffsandsage at gmail.com our website is handcuffsandsagepodcast.com we have a patreon page so if you want to support us and get some goodies by all means we're not holding you back Mm -hmm. and our next episode to come out for our regular handcuffs and sage is a real goodie so oh it is real goodie it's it's, uh it's getting closer and closer to halloween so we wanted to do something real spooky fun spooky fun it is it's a good time i like it i enjoyed it yeah (laughs) So, uh, Gray uh, forgot the whittle of the week. So while we were waiting for you to come on Zoom, Red, uh, I had to listen to last episode so I could remind her what the whittle of the week was. So, yeah. you know why? You know why? We're professionals. We and are. That's what we're we so do. professional. We know exactly <laughs> what's happening always. <laughs> so it's it's a nasty one it's another nasty one and i i the, you know why because it's fun yes and the we answer nasty. We nasty. the answer that i think it is i know it's not going to be because that's the nasty answer so let's hear it dre <laughs> all right so the question was when you blow me i get bigger and the tighter you wrap your lips around me the quicker i enlarge what am i a balloon yeah Yay! Oh. You got it. Yeah. Hey, Mo, yeah. What yeah. did you think it was? You gross. <laughs> oh my god. You such a hoe over here. Um, um I thought wow. it was maybe like a bubble gum bu- bubble gum bubble. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's a good that's a good yeah. answer too. Good answer. Good Yay. answer. Yay. 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 All right. Do we have <laughs> we have a new whittle of the week? Yep, Dre's yeah. doing it again. Always. I'm okay, ready, let, ready. let me write. Let me write it down. Hold up. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. We don't have the rights to that song. <laughs> we have okay. no rights. 
We have no rights to any song. And it sounded exactly band. like it too. So we right. better Thank watch out. Mm -hmm. I know. In trouble now. In trouble now. Okay. All right. I enjoy a soft blow, but other times I need a stronger blow in order to get all that goop to come out. What? <gasps> Ray! Oh <laughs> my God. Y'all hoes with your whittles of the week. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and, and give it one more time so I can make sure I have it written cor correctly. Okay. I enjoy a soft blow, but other times I need a stronger blow in order to get all that goop to come out. <laughs> what am I? Okay. Girl, I okay. So this is the rule. You can't Google it. Nobody right. can Google. Mm -hmm. You have to use your brain like it's 1980. Okay. <laughs> right. I know it's like hard. It's so hard. It but is that's so hard. what makes it fun. Okay. Uh -huh. It's very hard. You know what? I think Hilda got this one right. I think she did too. She yeah. did. Like, um, Hilda, you're a badass. All the time. She, every day. Hilda is a listener and she is just the best. She messages us. She tells us fun stories. She She's just so like energetic. I just love her mm -hmm. energy all the time. It makes yeah. me so happy. And I think the episode dropped at midnight. And then I think by 8 a.m. she was sending us the answer. And my girlfriend, when did you, <laughs> when did you listen? <laughs> it was so funny. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> she got it. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I did, her. Thank you, Hilda. You're the best. Mm -hmm. She's a smart cookie. Mm -hmm. She is a smart cookie. I can tell because she likes us. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready? I think we are. Just like you, we, we have, have questions. questions. We sound amazing and totally yes, do. We don't sound like robots. <laughs> We're all monotone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, have a great week. Bye. And, uh, Bye, Bye. Keep an eye out for uh, Instagram Live in case we're visited by the men in black. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice knowing you. Bye. 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 Handcuffs and Sage is hosted by Red, Timo, and Dre in a shitty guest room in Los Angeles. Theme music is Leave Now by We Are Wasted. Cover art done by Megan Winchester. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Show some love on iTunes. Be a badass and do what you want. Until next time.